Father. Yes, my daughter. Father, I have fallen, and I can't get up. Last time on Crusader Kings 3. Rostogma. Maximus Typinius, Count of Here and Mighty Warrior, undefeated. Husband to Maximiana and father of Maximini. Illegally assaulted and stole the duchy and then was surprised when the king wasn't happy about it. In a desperate play to keep his title, he married a three-year-old. <coughs> Only to discover there was another babby formed. Heartbreak, but with mastery of tactics, a white peace was achieved with Bulgaria and absolutely no concessions had to be made. And Maximus lived happily ever after. Oh God, I've ruined everything. Maximus's wife is a child. Maximus's child is a wife. Our level of fame, disgraced. And the dynasty, base origins. I'll be honest, I didn't even know it could get below obscure. <laughs> Don't cry, Maximus. Today, we rebuild. It turns out not only are we at truce with King Boris of Bulgaria, but in one of the panic marriages I made, we apparently also married our daughter to his son, which was <laughs> accidentally an incredibly high tier move. Maybe? Maybe we can be friends. Stand tall, Maximus, for it turns out things aren't quite as bad as I thought. We have a duchy, our liege can't touch us, and we have allies now. Our wife is still a child, which I will admit is a slight problem. Our first goal, let's truly be able to call ourselves the Duke of Montenia. Because right now we can really only call ourselves the one fifth Duke of Montenia. Which is about four-fifths too few to be called a full Duke Montenia. Oh, greetings, Duke Maximus of Montenia. I have prowled through the documents, both ancient and of less certain provenance. And I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the county of... Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Turg... Turgavisti. No. No. No! What the hell did I spend all of last episode bribing you for? He spits in the face of our truce. And he spits in the face of our alliance. All because we're Roman. <sighs> Fine. Fine. Take your title. Oh my god, he's reduced us down to the summer home. Maximus Minor Minor. <laughs> Just as I was about to try and befriend him as well. He appreciates the effort. Boris. Boris? You've made an enemy for life. He's given the title back to our rival. The man we defeated in combat to take it in the first place. The perfidious Duke Asparuk. In that case, why don't we change direction and head over to Severin? That could be a title to grab. A full-on developed castle holding and Caliphate as well, rather than Maximus Minor Minor, which is a shed in a field. My lord, pray tell, who is the most chivalrous person you have heard of? <laughs> well, me, of course. One day we'll crawl ourselves out of this prestige debt. Oh, a bit of introspection from our defeat. Well, let's not call it a defeat. Let's call it... Well, straight up bullying. It is. It's bullying. During the siege of Tyre, Alexander assaults and fortress by demolishing a nearby town and then using the rubber's protocols they stretched from the mainland and cities. Was allowed to siege and directly attack the enemy fortress. There was a navy which ultimately created the breach. In conclusion, military engineer. Maximus does have a grand idea for how he can claw back his prestige and also humiliate the king that humiliated him. Twice. We can stake 200 of the prestige that we very much don't have right now to potentially take 400 of his. We have 21 prowess. He has 25. But Maximus has a secret weapon. <laughs> no, not the one you're thinking of, but yeah, you're goddamn right. <laughs> That's right, my friends. Abusing game mechanics. And with that, we are almost even with King Boris, but we still have some final preparations to do. Maximus would practice with his soldiers. He's a warrior at heart. He's a commander. He's a soldier. And the dueling practice succeeded. 27 prowess. Crowds are drawn to see me fight with King Boris as we close with each other. We enter a dueling stance. King Boris takes an opening swing at me and I parry it before launching into my own assault. Sweep with wind stance. I fall into wind stance, blade to the side, ready to sweep. King Boris falls into wind stance. Oh no, blade to the side, ready to sweep. I frantically try to block a swarm of blows King Boris is attacking me with. However, at the last moment, his blade sweeps low. Cutting... No. Cutting me into my leg? My other leg, unprepared for the weight, gives out. I collapse in pain? Jupiter, protect me? Jupiter, you fucked up. No. 
Maximus! Damn you, King Boris. Damn you. Well, I guess that distraction really put us on the back foot. A new diplomacy perk. Because Maximus, of course, is fairly naturally skilled in diplomacy. Being a Roma boo, his eyes bulge in his head at the thought of Praetorian guards. <laughs> well, I was looking at hiring a new court chaplain to help speed up our land acquisition to make up for losing... <laughs> Absolutely everything. <laughs> and who should I find on the list of potential candidates? Maximiana. To say that we divorced her to marry a three-year-old? She's actually holding us in quite high opinion. Well, as the old expression goes, if you can't marry them, assign them your religious arbiter. Ah, what a good start. Wow, that's... Uh, how much gold? You want... Hmm. My lustful fornicator ex-wife is asking me for... 69 gold. How can we go to war and feed an army when the coffers are dry? I think it's time we focus on wealth. At least for a little while, because you know I was wealthy? That's right, my friends. Rome, wherever I go, my guest Euphemia is sure to follow. That look in her eyes, the words on her lips. I know exactly what she's after. She must be after my... My Gamer Fluid! Thank you to our sponsor for today's episode, Game... I'm not reading that one. You're on your own. What is wrong with you, Boris? To my loathsome vassal, you are hereby under arrest. <laughs> <sighs> to spend my time separated from all the ones I love is a cruel punishment. I find myself seeking out any source of comfort and companionship I can find, but they are few. The only thing that gets me through the long days is my connection with Pagan. Hello, Pagan. A wandering content adventurer. He is my one source of friendship. Oh, no. I was woken in the early hours of the morning by two unfamiliar guards. Being led outside, I had no illusion about what was to happen. As I kneel for King Boris's headsman, I experience a moment of serene and perfect clarity. Curse your black soul, Boris! Oh. Oh, he's just... <laughs> he's negotiating our release? Well, that was, um... Very theatrical for a whole lot of nothing. To my vile vassal, I am willing to release you from prison, but not unconditionally. We have to convert to orthodoxy. My God. We're going to turn our back on the one thing that makes us Roman besides our culture. Oh. <laughs> well, in, in that case, we could always convert back. Has Maximus had enough? He's lost his wife, his lands, his, his ducal title, his leg? No more. No more. I'm no longer held by King Boris. I'm free to return home or wherever else I wish. Oh, fuck it, I'm in straight down the well if I was you, Maximus. But there will be a day. Oh, mark my words. There will be a day where the great house Typinius returns to its Roman roots. Maybe when we've got a leg to stand on. I meant that metaphorically, but I suppose very literally as well. This must be what it feels like to be a gamer in society. Forced to lie in your very heart and soul. And on the subject of the future of the dynasty. How does the dynasty fare? 13 years of age. Maximini Typinius is a fairly competent diplomat. 12 diplomacy. Fickle. Impatient. Paranoid. Curious. And now we have the option to go even further. To sacrifice even more of Maximus to try and build up something, some sort of legacy. Then show me, Maximini, you could have felt that animal yourself. She gains ambitious, but what she gains, we lose. Not physically this time, but mentally. About the only thing he's got left. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. Lately, it feels like I'm being constantly distracted by lascivious thoughts and erotic fantasies with all the hardships of everyday life. It's too easy to lose myself in daydreams forget about reality. These desires are clearly interfering with my life. But what should I do about them? <laughs> oh my god, we can convert religion again. <laughs> Maybe a different kind of outlet will help. We gained the trait athletic. Now we can train both arms rather than just one of them. Ah, new stewardship perk. Our studies are starting to pay off. Let's go for... Golden obligations. He hasn't got any scheming potential at all. Hooks to... Maximus are a bit useless. He's a, it's a little dense. We will take it 
as cold hard cash and then turn it into soldiers for our mighty conquest of Caliphat. <laughs> Wherever that is. No. Maximus, we're supposed to be over this. Once again, I wake with a beating heart and the remnant of fire smoldering in my loins. <laughs> Dark Souls 4, everybody. I must find her. Oh, is she okay? I'm not sure we want to find her. Well, fetch a shovel. My lord, we can find no signs of this peasant you have us searching for. With a limited resource at my disposal, there is only so much that I can do. Even as my chaos Diane who bows and scrapes, my thoughts wander to that magical night. What, in the toilet? <laughs> I think Maximus is really struggling with a very strange fetish. Fifty dollar dues? Years of preparation to invade and rebuild our dynasty. And we're going to blow it all on... Well, blowing it all. My lord, I present to you Euphemia. Bought before you upon your insistence. Yes, I may have just plunged the realm into debt for this lady. Please, my lord, let me go. That night was a mistake. I only wish to be left alone. This is a deep character moment for Maximus. Please, Euphemia, stay here at court. Or has the loss of everything he's ever owned. His land, his titles, his family, his leg. Has it turned him into a man that he never dreamt of becoming? No. No, I think there's a chance. Please, Euphemia, stay here at my court. No! No! I had so many hopes of you, my sweetest child. All the things you would learn, experience, and do. There were so many possibilities, a whole life to live. Maybe you would have had children of your own one day. But now, none of those things will ever come to pass. Rest in peace, little Maximini. Blow after blow after blow. Maximus, is there no justice in this world? Who did this? Drowned. My god. Wasn't even an enemy that we've made. It wasn't Boris or her ex-wife. It's purely an accident. A confluence of nature itself. You have been overwhelmed by stress. Yeah, I think that probably would do it, yes. <laughs> that leaves Maximus with one daughter who he has never met. The daughter who was born outside of the realm when her mother was banished. Countess Amenia. And her liege won't even allow a meeting. 42 years of age. No successor. No heir. We need an heir. We need an heir. Urgently, Maximus. His betrothed is only 12 years of age. But there is someone. Maybe it's fate. Maybe the gods have arranged this. Maximus! It took him years, but he's finally done it. Euphemia. As the shadows lengthen. Oh, <laughs> not the only thing. I find Euphemia in the darkness beneath the castle wall, waiting for me. She comes towards me, hesitant at first, then eagerly. I hear her breath quicken as I pull her close. In the shade of the wall, we make love. The guards patrolling, oblivious to our passion. Once more, Euphemia becomes your lover. Is this the desperation Maximus has gone to? To get himself a child. The only problem, I think, is that she was 40... She's 47, so we can't get an heir. And also, she's dead? <laughs> what? That is mysterious. 19th of August? Maximus! How big your dick? I... I have no words. The man has gone completely insane. Once more? Once more? I think I need to lie down. <laughs> Maximus. <sighs> Maximus! He has gone completely mad. The loss of his duchy, his wife, his daughter, his lands, his leg. It's driven him to the, the darkest depths of humanity. What light through yonder window breaks? He says, 
creeping through the graveyard, noticing it's dawn. Romeo and Juliet, except by the way, she's a fucking corpse. I, I, I'm genuinely lost for words. I'm genuinely lost for words. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> he only just realized. Tragic news, my ladies. Euphemia is dead. Euphemia, not by love. With the death of my one-time acquaintance, Euphemia, my plans for our future no longer matter. Whatever may once have been, it is now dead. If only I won her affection soon. <laughs> I can't, I can't top that. I can't top that. That, my friends, concludes today's adventures for Count Maximus and Maximus Minor Minor. The rise and fall and continued fall, and then falling even further. Well, about six feet below that, in fact. <laughs> I am sincerely lost for words. Wow. And now Maximus has a job for you, comment section. I want to hear what you think of the the CK3 format. I wanted to try something new for this series. We've, we've got a whole channel's worth of Crusader Kings content of me playing the game, of of experiencing the, the mechanics and, and going through decisions and, and warfare. I wanted to do something unique for this one. I, I want to tell the story of a character. And my god, I wish I hadn't. I want the episodes to be short. So I want them to be a, a, a digestible slice of Maximus's life. Or in this case, Maximus's life and death. Let me know. It's up to you guys. If, if you prefer the old format, of course. Uh, let me know. If you prefer a mixture of both, let me know. I'm, I'm more than happy. I, I'm just happy to be back playing Crusader Kings after, after such a long break. Uh... Wow, this really has been something, huh? Now, these videos are particularly intense to, to edit. They're obviously uh, far more than I do with any of the, of the, of the <laughs> five episodes a day I have going up all across uh, three different channels. Uh, as a result, there are some people that Maximus has to thank. Not only you at home for watching, but of course, the patrons for making this series possible in the first place. A big thank you to Hottie Sphinx, Chicken, Altari, Facundo Vasquez, Orcs Chops, The White Fox God, Hobo Billy Joel, Dranmir, El Chalupa Cabra, Methanius, Carmen Copeland, Esidus, Ink Sphinx, and Bondala for their support. The executive producer tears over on Patreon. You're probably regressing that, that, that now, aren't you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you as well to Zerato, Flight Gamer, Magister Militum, Catlord, Fatigable, Lunatic, Thura, Wide Riot, Plumby, JC Sly 91, Seppi 141, and the other 18 Covids. 